I'm here in Long Beach right now to have a meeting with my old friend, Jesse James. <laughs> Jesse's kind of a crazy guy. I mean, he's world famous for his choppers and, of course, being married to Sandra Bullock. How you doing? I'm good, man. He's got this project for me. That's why I'm really here, was he called me and said he's got this truck he wants to redo. I haven't been here in a while. Are These man. are just your bug collection? Yeah, my indoor junkyard. That's cool. That was off Monster Ground, right? Mm -hmm, yeah, I kept all the good ones. Yeah, <laughs> you had to. Yeah. Jesse's one of those guys that I've always looked up to since my business has grown, like his. We kind of both started our shops at the same time. And I think since the names are so close, everybody thinks we, like, hate each other or something like that. And we're, you know, we've always been good friends. So I think we lean on each other every couple years to see what's up. So where's this truck? I think it's outside here. <laughs> Tell me a story about it. Yeah, that's bitching. So I bought it uh, in 1994, and then I wrecked it and then fixed it, and then a week later wrecked it again, and I got I thought it was bad luck, and I sold it to my friend Simo. Then it got stolen, and got then jacked. they found it, and he owed me money, I so I got it off of him, <laughs> and then there it is. Wow. It's just like kind of won't go away. It's like a booger. You like, you try to flick it off, and then it's like on your elbow, or then it's on your ear, and you know, and I started thinking, you know, I'm supposed to have it, so. What should we do to it? Lay it flat on the ground? Yeah, it should lay frame, and. And, uh, you know, I don't want no mini truck on it. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Obviously, I'm a bike guy first, so having a pickup is for when your bike's broke <laughs> or when it's raining. Well, you want to use it. Like, you want to, yeah. like, a driver, right? Yeah, I want to drive too it. crazy. Keep a bench seat so I can have my, have my <laughs> chick next to me. I still wanted to keep it a pickup, you know? Yeah. I want something I can roll to Vegas. OK. You know? I'll make a dope, then. I trust Ryan. He can do his thing on it and go nuts to a certain point. I don't want no waterfalls and on the dash or none of that stuff. <laughs> what about chopping it? Should we chop it a little bit? You could, just a little just bit. Just a little. I mean, not a lot. Like two or three inches? Yeah, just take a little bit out of it, just to bring it down. I don't know. Oh, I don't want it to be You like don't want the... it to be on your head, though. But you could, drop the, you could drop the seat. Yeah, down. we could bring that down a lot. That's so I'm going to basically do my West Coast touch to it with a little bit of his ideas that he wants to do. I know right. what we need to do. Thanks. And I'll shoot you like a rendering so you can see it and you can say, cool, where we go. Cool. Thanks, bud. All right, Jess. See Thanks, you, man. Good see to you. see you, bud. You too. All right. West Coast Customs is expanding where I'm doing a West Coast Customs Chevron base gas station in Santa Monica. I'm going to bring the truck out there for an unveiling and have Jesse show up to support me with my new adventure whenever I try to always can support him. That's him driving that crazy truck. Watch. Pull back and get that. Hey! Where is it? He said strap your seatbelt on. I knew I was in for it. We took a little short lap around to warm up the motor to get it ready. And then when we hit that intersection, I seen that green light. I mean, he punched it. My stomach and my heart, like, went to my feet. Six thousand pounds, nine hundred and fifty horsepower. Oh. <laughs> Is somebody carrying me out of here before I puke? <laughs> Thanks, Jess. <laughs> I'm going back to the shop. It's not that bad. <laughs> Getting ready to unveil this truck. I mean, the truck's ready. We're just waiting on Jesse. Hopefully, he shows up soon. To the hood. <laughs> I was kind of, I don't know, I felt like a badass CEO a little bit when I rolled up here, because I was like, OK, let's see what little Ryan can do. Here's what I'm wondering. I want to <laughs> see if I get this, if I got the color right. The projects we've done in the past, I've always kind of like dictated. This time, I just let him do his thing. Tell me what you think. That's awesome. Look at that truck. It's crazy, right? Wow, it looks good. You know what's cool? 
It looks like the same truck, though, a little bit. You know, you can still see it. That looks badass. It kind of made me a little sentimental when I saw it. I'm like, oh, man, there's my old truck. It reminds me, like, when I first saw that truck in, like, 1990. It's cool. It looks good. Yeah, Sean raked the roof down, I think, about two and a half inches, something like that. That's perfect. Three inches? Yeah. Yeah. You can't even tell. That's what's cool, you know? Yeah, yeah. it's subtle. I think my favorite thing is the chop. To, to chop and then lean it in back, I would have never thought to do that. I probably would have never had the to do that. It's good. It's totally me, too. You did it perfect. You know, some people want over the top. I want to kind of just, like, people will catch it on the second look. They'll see it like, oh, that thing's badass. It's just cool. You know, it's just a nice. Perfect. Definitely exactly what he wanted. I kind of felt that when I was building the truck. You know, me and him see eye to eye on a lot of stuff. That's definitely the old school trucking truck that we were looking to build back from the roots. Go, I think he's stoked. Right, you want to go drive it? Yeah. All right, let's go. It's over the top cool. You know, it's like beyond my expectations. It's definitely here to stay. Probably give it to my son. Jesse, that was one thing he always used to say to me is, you need to get back in the shop. You need to start working on cars again. I want to see your fingernails dirty. So this was a good way to show him. I built this truck for him, and he loves it. Job well done.